at how good the lights look. Everything is working great. They look really nice in the dark here. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Corsair IQ LS100 Smart Lighting Strip Expansion Kit. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our warranty guide followed by our user guide and manual, walking us through all the tech specs in multiple languages. And we have the Corsair customer service and contact information directly on the guide. Next, you can see our two included expansion strips right here. Check it out, they look great, they're flexible. We got the Corsair logo and branding. You can see our different connectors right there. Both of these are identical to each other, 250 millimeters. Here's our connector cables. And then you can see we have some of our mounting options right here. Now let's go ahead, let's get these set up. All right, so you can see we have the expansion kit installed right here on top of our starter kit. So our starter kit's the two 450s and two 250s on the side. And then you can see we went ahead, we added an additional 250 off of each side right here. So check that out, everything's working great. You can configure all of this within the IQ software. Now let's go ahead, let's turn off the lights and look at this in more detail. All right, so check it out right here. Look at how good the lights look. Everything is working great. They look really nice in the dark here. So if you have a dimly lit environment, they're gonna be bright enough. Obviously you can see they were really coming through still with all the bright studio lights, but the darker, the better for the quality and the viewing experience with these lights. Now let's go ahead, let's look at some of the different scene options that we have within the IQ software. So the first option you can see right here is the rainbow wave. So check that out as the color just kind of waves across the lights, true to its name. Next, we just have your regular rainbow right here. So you can see it's changing and we can adjust the speed, slow, medium, or fast. Then we have our color shift and we have random color selected, but we could also choose alternating if we want. And same thing, we can adjust the speed. Then you can see we have our color pulsing right here. Then we have our color wave, really cool. Obviously the wave is gonna go in order with how our lights are connected. Next up you can see sequential, I love how that looks. Cool, cool, cool stuff. All right, next up you can see we have our strobing effect and it's gonna change colors. Then we have our visor, you can see that one right there, look at that. And then it comes back, different color. Next you can see we have our marquee, which looks cool. And we can choose the color we want. And lastly, we have our CPU temperature right here. This is really cool. So we can adjust the temperature. So right now it's set to green would be 20 degrees Celsius. Yellow would be 40 degrees Celsius. And then red is gonna be 60 degrees Celsius. And we can get that real time indicator right here. And you can choose the sensor for um, your CPU or your GPU, which is neat. So we have a couple different options there, but I'm leaving it on the CPU right now. And again, we can adjust the color and we can adjust the temperature depending on our preferences. So overall, great experience. They work flawlessly and integrate just as you would expect since they're already a part of the system. We already had two 250s and then we connected two more and everything's working great. Just make sure to adjust it in the IQ software. And I believe we maybe have maxed out what we're able to do on one of the runs. Four 250s in two 450s is what this is capable of. But don't forget, we have that second channel that we can control and expand as well. So you have a pretty good amount of light and length you're able to use these with. And don't forget, you can position the included extension cables however you want. You can use them, not use them, keep them for later. You can see how we configured ours right here with the magnetic mounts. But again, you can use the 3M adhesive depending on what you're using these lights for. But overall, solid choice if you're already in the Corsair ecosystem, and chances are you already are since this is the expansion. If you aren't and you're considering buying the starter kit, I would go ahead 
and just purchase the extra lights as well. You'll thank me later. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.